Now, I would like to invite Professor Afroza Bago, Madam, to deliver his, her speech. Uh, madam, please come on the stage. Very good morning, um, distinguished um, uh, guest and honorable chairperson. Thanks for uh, inviting me to this auspicious session. I am on behalf of the Department of Pediatric Nephrology, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University, uh, came here to share my uh, experience uh, about lupus nephritis, uh, about lupus nephritis in our department. And also I will explain some hurdles and uh, 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 inconvenience to treat this um, uh, poor ch child. Okay, I will st uh, start for a few case scenarios. I will show them to you. This is a beautiful young girl of 13 years and she presented to us with repeated convulsion followed by loss of vision. Her blood pressure was, uh, we found, 160 over 100 millimeter of mercury. Before that, nobody uh, measured her blood pressure. And her bedside urine albumin was 2 plus. And she ultimately became edematous. And we did the ophthalmological evaluation. And it showed retinal detachment due to hypertension. Her initial screening for SLE was negative uh, and she was treated like nephrotic syndrome as there was proteinuria. But uh, ultimately, um, her ANA and anti-DSDNA became positive and we did renal biopsy, but unfortunately, we missed to procure the tissue. Another case, this is a very little child, only seven uh, months and uh, 15 days old. She presented to us uh, d uh, due to, admitted to us UTI, like UTI. Though got treatment for UTI, her fever was not remitting and ultimately uh, during admission she developed rash and hematuria. So we did the evaluation for SLE and it showed positive ANA and anti-DSDNA. And her renal biopsy <coughs> revealed class 2 nephritis. These two are atypical presentation of uh, lupus nephritis. One presented with nephrotic syndrome and other presented uh, with a very small child, UTI, and ultimately developed rash. And uh, third case is a typical case of uh, SLE with nephritis. She is a 14-year-old girl. She presented with rash, hematuria, edema, and the uh, girl was hypertensive and bedside urine albumin was 3 plus. She was she, N and anti DSDNA positive, and her renal biopsy typically showed the class 4 nephritis. So, these are the case, some case scenarios. We, uh, and SLE. Global incidence, though global incidence is 3 to 6 per lakh population, but in Asia, uh, the prevalence is high, higher, and it is 30 to 50, uh, much more higher, and prevalence in India, Japan, and Saudi Arabia is ranges from 3.2 to 19.3. Um, in Bangladesh, there is uh, no data yet. And you know the uh, renal involvement and um, any involvement in pediatric SLE is more than their adult counterparts, uh, including CNS, uh, cardiac, uh, renal, and uh, autoimmune. All these things are uh, more serious in case of pedi pediatric population in SLE. And published data showed that 40 to 80 percent children with SLE ultimately um, develop nephritis and you know the renal involvement and the infection infection and the renal involvement is the most important prognostic factor for SLE and cause of death also and uh, we had a study in the department of pediatric rheumatology they showed that 65 percent of their patient had renal involvement and ultimately 
they needed to renal bias and came to us for treatment. And uh, renal involvement is uh, more common in children and children are the worst victim of SLE and its complication. There are some data uh, showed that renal survival improved in uh, 1980 it was only 52 percent but in recent uh, with immunosuppressive therapy it raised to 91 percent so treatment is so uh, very much important and mandatory for the renal involvement of the lupus uh, SLE What uh, challenges we encounter in the management of lupus in a developing country? First and the foremost is the lack of awareness. Lack of awareness is the first thing. And also, uh, so, uh, uh, due to lack of awareness, they present us too late. And uh, there is overwhelm infection also. And financial constraint is the another important prognostic factor. Maxi uh, most of them gave up their treatment due to financial constraint and also poor attachment to treatment. Uh, the, uh, maximum patient came from rural areas and for inconvenience they are not regularly attending uh, to our center because the lupus center is not available in throughout the country. There are few centers they, they are encountering the uh, lupus nephritis patient, only few. Lack of nearby health facility, malnutrition, and many, uh, many, many other things are responsible uh, for the management of lupus in a developing country. So I am experiencing my, sh uh, my I am sharing my experience here. We prospectively evaluated 80 children with lupus nephritis in our department for the last five years. All patients fulfilled the SLICC criteria 2012 for the diagnosis of SLE and had evidences of renal involvement. Renal biopsy was done 63 patients and uh, adequate tissue obtained in 57, that is 71.25 percent patients. Renal histology was classified according to ISN 2003 criteria. Immunosuppressive agents were given according to histological grading and clinical criteria and patients were followed up for at least one year. Here is the age distribution, mean age was 12.11 year. Sex distribution is the same like other uh, countries of the globe, um, uh, female or 75 percent. And the important thing is the residence of the study subject, 58% patients are from rural areas and 20% uh, from semi-urban and 22% from the urban area. Here is the monthly income, uh, the statement given by the parents that uh, less than 20,000 taka per month is 72% parents had monthly income only less than 20,000 taka. Clinical criteria is uh, like same the all other countries and maximum patient presented with malarash, uh, maculopapular rash, photosensitivity and here uh, you see that there is also seizure, psychosis and peripheral neuropathy and uh, also uh, uh, was the presenting feature and these are the more uh, dangerous thing in case of SLE. Here are the hematological and biological biochemical presentation. It is uh, like uh, SLE as usual that uh, hematuria was 62 per percent, proteinuria 78 percent, hypertension was 47 percent and impaired renal function was 43 percent. And uh, this type of presentation is uh, like same in Asian countries, but in European countries there is a presentation like impaired renal function, hypertension and hematuria was more prominent than uh, proteinuria. 
these are the immunological criteria of our study subjects low complementemia was the predominant finding as uh, we uh, uh, as we are dealing with the only renal patients and uh, low c3 low c3 and c4 both are present in 53 percent uh, anti-nuclear antibody was positive in 83 percent and anti-double stranded dna 81 percent though uh, nowadays the entry criterion is uh, ANA positivity, but we have not found 100% ANA positivity. Most probably some methodical uh, error may there, but dilutional error may there, I don't know. But uh, uh, we uh, have not found the 100% ANA positivity here. Here are some presenting features in patients with uh, lupus nephritis. Uh, I have already told these things that uh, European subjects, that green ca color, uh, they presented with 83% patient presented with impaired renal function and 72% uh, patient with uh, hypertension and hematuria was present in 100% in European cohort. But uh, we and the, my nearby country, India, was the same feature presented, May, uh, the main presenting feature was proteinuria and uh, hypertension and impaired renal function was less than uh, the e European studies. These are the histopathological pattern uh, we got here. It is the more or less same. Uh, class 4 was 39 percent, class 2 was 33 percent, and uh, class 3 we got only 12 percent. It is uh, like the same the all other con countries of the globe. And here is the data of histological pattern. Uh, data from Europe showed that class 4 was the main. And that presenting features also like class 4, hypertension, hematuria, renal impairment. And uh, uh, they got nearly 82% uh, of class 4. But in our country and also nearby country, India, class 4 was 40 to 50%. And it is the most, uh, I think, important for our situation, outcome. Outcome, 51% uh, patient um, gone to remission and 15% um, patient died. And ESRD developed in 5% patient and 29% uh, patient was lost to follow up. Most probably it will be more and more uh, in future, I think. 29% uh, patient lost to follow up. And in this 29%, 17% was from the rural areas. So the patients uh, from the rural areas are more prone to loss to follow up. So, um, in summary, I can conclude here. Those scarcity of data, it seems acid and lupus nephritis is common in our country. And majority of the patients with lupus nephritis are from low socioeconomic status and from rural area. But diagnostic facilities, including renal biopsy, is also available in our country, not only in Dhaka, also in medical colleges and uh, some centers in the periphery also and main problem is dropout of patients dropout of patients there might be multiple factors that uh, might be uh, most important is lack of awareness distance and financial constraint so here are some celebrities who conquered the lupus and I think if we can uh, promote treatment and provide adequate treatment, we can have some celebrities within our patients also. And here is another example. One of celebrity suffered from CKD due to lupus and her best friend have donated her kidney to her friend. Thank you. Thank you for patience hearing. Thank you, madam, for your excellent and informative presentation. Now, I would like to request Dr. Muhammad Abdul Kader.